Well, this final video in Chapter 2 will be a relatively short video. What I want to talk to you about is just working with and managing multiple package projects or and <laughs> multiple project solutions in the Visual Studio. Not a whole lot to it. Just want you to have seen it be comfortable with it so that either a later on in the course you see some of this you won't freak out or b you see this in the job you'll say oh man that's what scott was talking about now i get it we actually have a setup of this i i'll go ahead and i'll create this just from scratch i'm going to launch the visual studio and if you remember from one of our earlier videos we kind of broke it out like this we said that a solution has do this solution and we'll call this um, learn it first web is the name of our solution and that solution can have many projects so we'll uh, just diagram three projects here and so project one is the ASP.NET website and then project number two would be a VB DLL that supports the website. And then project number three would be SSIS packages to load uh, web data. Okay. So we've got one solution with three projects. And even within these SSIS packages, I could have multiple in this project multiple packages. So here's package one, two, three, four, five inside of my SSIS projects. So I'm going to set something up like this. I actually don't have the full-blown Visual Studio installed. I've just got a SQL Server installation. So I can't install the ASP.NET website. I can't install the VBDLL project because I don't have those project types installed. But we can get multiple business intelligence projects going. So we've opened up, I'll start over. Let's open up the Visual Studio. And I'm going to tell it that I would like a new project. I can't make a new solution because, uh, for whatever reason, um, you can make a new project here. And under the other project types, if you wanted to make a new blank solution, you could do that. And in that case, it makes an empty solution with no projects not really what I want to do but we'll go up here to the business intelligence projects and we'll create an IS project so we'll call this uh, learn it first SSIS and just to pull it up here and isolate in an earlier video we talked about how the the solution name should be a higher level than the project name a solution is probably going to have multiple projects. I say probably. I don't know your environment. Maybe it will. Mine, do, mine generally have more than one project in them. Uh, I've got a supporting DLL or supporting SSIS packages, supporting scripts. I might kind of have lots of different reasons to have multiple uh, projects in a solution. So I tend to name my solution verb-based or uh, noun-based about what it is. Um, it defaults to naming down here the solution as the same thing as the project, which in my case is going to be a mistake because I wanted this to be called the Learn It First Web. And you can see Learn It First SSIS will be the first project in the Learn It First Web solution. So we say OK. Now you can have lots of packages in here. We're going to talk about data source views and data sources and other things a little bit later. Uh, you can come up here and you can add packages if you need to. Uh, you can come down here and you could sort it, whatever you need to do, right? There's a couple of things that you can play with down in here. Um, so here is a, an SSIS project with multiple packages. I told you nothing to it, right? You just double click them to open them. Now, what if you wanted to add a new project? Well, you don't really get that option up here. Now, we have opened the Learn It First Web solution. You can see it right there. Maybe yellow is a better icon color right there. 
so you see the Learn It First web solution that contains the Learn It First, and well, we'll choose red maybe, SSIS project. So this particular solution has a single project. Well, what we can do is we can go to the file menu and we can add a project or an existing. So I could add now another or an SSAS project. Now we are dealing with two projects and it switches. So you can now see the top level is the solution here. And then you can see the SSAS project, which is it's again showing us as we talked, oops, as we talked about before. There are our business intelligence project icons. So we see there's one is an SSAS and then we see the other is the SSIS. The only other real indication that we receive that this is an integration or an analysis services versus this being integration services are the folder names underneath. So it's actually fairly simple. Now, we, once we do this, we also get a change over here. We can now save the solution. So we can come up here and we can save the solution. So you now see the .sln. I should have shown you this, but we didn't actually have that as an option before because we couldn't select it. Uh, but once we have the solution file here, now we can go to the configuration manager, define our configurations, which for this it won't really uh, make too big of a difference. But you've now seen what it's like to manage multiple projects and multiple packages in the same solution.